The country woke up to the news of this alligator attack, with Orlando already reeling from that terror attack at the nightclub. A very difficult time for that city, and tonight, for the first time here, we see and hear the gunman in video that's now been discovered. It turns out he was in a documentary showing him in one of his previous jobs working security. Also tonight here, we knew he called 911 during the rampage, pledging allegiance to ISIS. Tonight, we learn of a second call. Who did he call and why? Here's ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross. Tonight, for the first time, we hear the voice of the killer. Good morning. Good morning. Do you have a badge? Omar Mateen as a disgruntled security guard caught on tape in a documentary called The Big Fix at the site of the 2010 BP oil spill. No one gives a No one gives a here. Like, everybody just get out to get paid. It's all about the money, right? All about the money. In 2013, Mateen was sounding more than just disgruntled, and he was removed as a private security guard at this Florida courthouse. There was a comment made about his allegiance to the Fort Hood shooter, and uh, those comments uh, brought immediate alarm to my staff and their supervisors at the courthouse. The sheriff called the FBI, one of the two times agents investigated Mateen and concluded he was not a threat. All this, his ex-wife tells ABC News, as he was struggling with his sexual identity and becoming unhinged. And he was ill and he needed help and he could not be his true self. Now, as the FBI seeks more information on Mateen's path to that terror-filled night in Orlando, officials say they have discovered he was active online using at least four separate Facebook accounts. On the night of the shooting, he wrote, now taste the Islamic State vengeance, adding, in the next few days, you will see attacks from the Islamic State in the USA. And then, just before he died in the shootout with police, the team took the time to call a local TV station. And he cut me off, and he said, I'm the shooter. It's me, I'm the shooter. And I didn't know what to say. And then he started saying he did it for the Islamic State, he did it for ISIS. And Brian Ross back with us again tonight. And Brian, you're learning about what could be Another missed signal in this case? That's right, David. The owner of a gun shop in Jensen Beach, Florida, told ABC News tonight that Mateen tried to buy body armor and bulk ammunition from him, but he turned him down because he seemed suspicious. And the owner says he then notified authorities about his suspicions of Mateen, and that was at least three weeks before the shooting. David, so far, no, re no response tonight from authorities in Florida. All right, Brian, thank you.